everybody, and welcome to Water Talk, brought to you by Water Online. My name is Angela Godman, and my guest today is Andrew Daly with Trojan Technologies. Andrew, thank you for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. It is exciting to be here at the American Water Works Association's annual conference and expo in person. Yes, right? very nice. Excellent. Now, um, for folks maybe who aren't familiar with Trojan Technologies, can you give us just a little bit of background on what you guys do? Sure. We're a manufacturer of UV treatment equipment. Mm -hmm. Um, so UV treatment specifically for treating water. Excellent. And uh, I understand you also, uh, you provide advanced oxidation process, AOP treatment. Yes, right? yes we do. What What is that? So at the simplest level, it's using UV ultraviolet light with an oxidant to treat water that has environmental contaminants in it. And um, what types of contaminants is it able to treat? So good question. So there are quite a few contaminants mm -hmm. um, and we generally do an assessment of all the water quality characteristics that you might have in your water. Mm -hmm. But some of the, the key contaminants would be like 1,4-dioxane, mm -hmm. uh, NDMA, you know, pesticides, um, typical taste and odor issues mm -hmm. with the water, um, as well as algae contaminants. So these are some of the key ones. So for utilities that are looking to incorporate AOP into their processes, what are some of those drivers? Sure, so for most water, um, generally there would be a regulatory driver. Mm -hmm. um, with AOP, sometimes we see in areas where there's water scarcity issues, mm -hmm or they have a known issue that they're trying to resolve. Are more. you seeing any sort of uptick in interest in AOP processes recently? Um, well, it's been growing, mm -hmm. um, you know, I would say over the last sort of two decades, mm -hmm. um, you know, as water scarcity becomes issue, um, as well as, you know, regulatory drivers, specifically, you know, on the East Coast, it's really driving some of the demand that we see with our technology. Excellent. Let's talk about how it really works. Like, can you give us a, a description or breakdown on how that technology actually cleans water? Yeah, sure. So, um, you maybe just, you know, talk generally, you know, um, typically there is an oxidant that is added mm -hmm. upstream the UV treatment equipment. So like an ozone perhaps, or like what kind of an oxidant are we talking about? So typically it would be like a peroxide uh -huh. or a sodium hypochlorite, okay. so like chlorine. Okay. Um, and that essentially would react with that water to put it in a condition where UV can treat that contaminant. Mm -hmm. So without that oxidant addition, um, it's not in a form that's treatable. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of chemistry behind the whole process. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about some of the specific AOP products that Trojan Technologies offers. Sure. So we do have, I guess, in the last decade, um, a new product development, mm -hmm. which is utilizing our UV Flex technology. Um, so our Flex product, it's really unique that it offers um, uh, expandability mm -hmm. within the same uh, footprint of equipment. It's really compact and it utilizes our state-of-the-art lamp technology, which mm -hmm. is our solo lamp. Um, we've seen this system, you know, installed in many, many uh, different places all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, more recently in Long Island, mm -hmm. where they have over a dozen installations wow. um, using the Flex technology. Um, so. In conjunction with the equipment, we also have a state-of-the-art controls platform mm -hmm. that really looks at the water, upstream water characteristics and adjusts its performance to be the most efficient equipment. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Now, Trojan Technologies equipment, I mean, it, it is perceived as, as world class. I mean, why do you think that is? What makes it um, as uh, good and effective and and functional as it is? It's a great question. Um, you know, with our years of experience, mm -hmm. uh, it really relies on a foundation or a pillar it really starts with your people. So we have a great team um, at Trojan Technologies and uh, we utilize our parent company's uh, DBS platform for mm -hmm. continuous improvement through Kaizans. And um, 
like our scientific community in at Trojan is amazing. Uh, so they really, they do a lot of the background work for us in terms of, you know, understanding the water characteristics. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that starts with a sample. So most municipalities, they have water, they don't quite understand what's in that water. And we offer uh, free uh, water analysis. So we can tell you to say, you know, what you might have in that water and how we can assist you. Is UV a good fit or not? Um, so it's really unique. Um, and we do that service for free of charge. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we've been doing this for thousands of different samples. Sure. So we really have a really good database and understand um, the characteristics associated with uh, what might be in your water and how we can treat it. So do you need an oxidant? Can you treat just with UV? Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, it's a, it's a great, uh, great foundation Excellent. that we have. Excellent. Now I imagine that um, UV AOP technology could be, maybe it's complicated uh, at the operator level or like, how do you make sure that the technology is being used effectively and appropriately? So it really, I mean, it's more of an automatic process. Yeah, so, okay. um, like I was saying, we sort of characterize the mm -hmm. water beforehand. And when we actually get into full scale or even before full scale, we can look at piloting. Mm -hmm. um, so we can do a pilot, uh, which would be much smaller scale, low investment to really understand that particular water, mm -hmm. how um, we can treat that water effectively over a period of time. Because yeah. not all water stays the same. Right, it there's does, some variability. There's some variability. Seasonal, or, Seasonal yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, so we do offer that service. And then when we do get into full scale products, we stand behind our product with performance guarantees. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, ultimately having a performance guarantee and having equipment that is easy to operate. So you don't need an operator to stand by the equipment all day. Mm -hmm. It manages itself. That's great. Yeah. Excellent. Well, listen, if our viewers want to learn more about UV AOP technology or Trojan technologies in general, or even the water sampling, um, water testing that you just discussed, where can they go? So you can go to our website, um, you can go to Google and enter in Trojan Technologies, mm -hmm. uh, or you can go www.trojantechnologies.com. Excellent. All right. Well, Andrew, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it and uh, appreciate you sharing all your insights. Great. Thank you so much for having me. Excellent. Well, this has been Water Talk brought to you by Water Online. My name is Angela Godwin.